Hello my friends and welcome to Open Studio D and today we're going to talk about something very very important. Something that a lot of artists are completely ignoring. So we're going to talk about setting up your studio light. So let's get let's get started. This is not your line and what are you doing here? I thought I can help you just oh. a little bit. Okay, just say something. Yes. Let's get started. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, okay. I'm not crazy. I'm just very excited about the subject. So, let's talk about this. So, the first point that we're going to talk about is the quality of light. So, you may ask me, what is the uh, quality of light? There are two main aspects of the light. The first aspect is the brightness of the light or uh, intensity of the light uh, measured by lumens or in the photography world it's measured by lux, L-U-X, just remember lux or lumens. And the second aspect of the light is actually the temperature of the light. And when you go to your supply stores to you know, pick up the bulb or light and you can actually find how many lumens the light can produce and what is the temperature, how that bulb light is set up, what the temperature will give you. All right. So aspect number one is the uh, lumens or lux, the intensity or brightness of the light. And aspect number two is actually the temperature of the light. Now you may ask Ask me why we're talking about this right why are we talking about quality of the light now we're talking about those two aspects main aspects of the light so what's in the world we you know Vlad is talking about or I'll give you some I'll just open some curtains so you can see the problem so let's talk about um, some examples Let, let's imagine something let's imagine you are working on your body of work on paintings and you're sitting uh, in your studio for months and months and working on those 15 paintings that you, you know, your gallery or somebody contacted you, museum maybe contacted you and say, hey, we want to, you know, we do, exp we actually do exposition and we want 15 your, of your paintings from, from you. And uh, you're like, yes, finally I got to museum, I finally got to gallery and man I'm working hard I'm sweating to finish this and I'm gonna work non-stop so let's let's say you work non-stop you finish all these 15 paintings you shipping them to gallery or to museum let's say museum let's stop on museum so you ship all those 15 paintings to museum and you're waiting for that opening day like that gorgeous opening day when you can run to a museum and you run to the, your wall and because you know that wall has your name and your paintings and you're running through the corridors or you know to that room you enter into that room and your jaw just <laughs> dropped and the reason why because you're looking at your paintings and the colors are completely off they're all shifted and you're just like wow what's going on i can tell you what's going on because you didn't pay attention to the brightness of the light in your studio and the most important temperature of the light in your studio. Because all museums and galleries have the standards. There is the standards of the brightness and most important, the temperature of the light. So the, the standards are the brightness of the light is actually for oil paintings, from 150 to 250 lux LUX for watercolors is actually even lower like around 50 lux and this is for brightness of the light shooting to your paintings and the temperature of the light is from 2500 to 3500 uh, kelvins and that's exactly what happened when you ship your paintings and you painting let's say at very cold temperature let's say you're using all cold bulbs in your studio so your vision is adjusted to cold color a very cold color you you don't even realize and you're actually painting very very cold uh, temperature of your light and then you you know and you of course your colors are shifting you're shifting to more the warm or to more cold and depends on your vision and or you're painting in for example you're painting your bulbs are very very hot um, let's say 15 1500 kelvins or 2000 kelvins uh, standards from you know like home depot or Lowe's or any supply stores and your colors are shifting to more cold uh, because you're trying to cool it 
So uh, and those shifts of the colors is regular for when you you know when you not controlling your temperature or you painting in your studio unknown settings. So you just you know you bought some bulbs, you put them in, in your studio, and that's it. You just concentrate on painting and completely disregarding the you know the the points of light that you have to control. Uh, so here we go. Is that important? I think it's very very important to know you know how to what is the temperature what is the brightness in my studio so when i finish paintings and i bring it to museum or to galleries or to my collectors they are the same standards so we need to know how to set up i mean studio light or light in our studio bottom line now we're going to point number three how to measure it right in order to manage it you need to know how to measure it. So how to measure the brightness of the light uh, in lumens or in lux and how to measure the temperature uh, of the light in your studio is very very simple and of course the apps, uh, mobile apps. Uh, you can search something, Go if you're using iPhone uh, go to Apple Store and uh, search something for lux meter, L-U-X meter, lux meter or lumens and also uh, how to measure the um, temperature of the light. This will be a little bit tricky so uh, normally uh, the measurement of the temperature is uh, in photography world it's called white balance. You probably heard this word, this buzzword, word, white balance which is the temperature of the light. There are several applications. Unfortunately I couldn't find anything for free so I'm using two applications uh, one app is uh, sign meter 2 I'll put it in the description and another application is called just light meter there's actually two uh, same application with same name light meter one is a free and one is like five dollars i think and they will give you uh, kelvin's temperature which is very very important so how to measure it it's very simple let's say i will put my uh sign meter so it looks like this so i can use it like this just a phone or you can purchase uh, something like this uh, i'm not sure if this is necessary for um, just measuring light on your at your canvas I'm using this for my videos uh, to make sure my white balance is uh, right but it's a good option it's only twenty dollars and this will I'm actually sometime I'm painting outside on plein air I'm using it as well so just to know uh, what the temperature light uh, actually outside based on light on the sun outside on or shadow somewhere the temperature of the light will be changing so I know where to you know make sure I'm not shifting my colors when I'm mixing too like too far away from each other or just too, or too too cold or too warm right and it's this working really easy it's just clip like this you're clipping it on your front camera and what you need to do is just put uh, your phone against uh, or right next to uh, your canvas and just measure how much uh, calamans uh, actually shooting to your canvas because it's the most important thing. So I'm actually right now it's 3340, 3340. I'm normally paint at 32 and the reason why I have you know a little bit more because I have this light key light for video that's why it's a little bit more but normally my settings without this light coming from my ceiling is 3200 so this is the calendar this is the temperature and the same thing you can do um, unfortunately this sign meter 2 is not giving me actual lux it's uh, measuring with different uh, different scale so what you can do you can switch to light meter and light meter will let's start and light meter is a very simple uh, and I can show you the light meter is very simple. All you have to do just press this button and hold it, and it will start. Yeah, you can see it, and you can you can press and hold it, and it will just start measuring the intensity of the light in lux. So, if I press it right here, it's actually one or one hundred thirty-five. If I'm moving my phone around the canvas but at the bottom right here the bottom is actually giving me average light average lumens and it's actually at one uh, 196 which is a little bit brighter than i need oh and I, this is only because i have this key light if i turn it off i will be right at the point of probably 150 which is it's it's fine for me so um this is how to measure 
your brightness uh, of the light and how to measure the actual the temperature of the light. So we learn about brightness of the light, we learn about temperature of the light. We know why it's so important to make sure the, our studio is set up the same way as galleries or museum. We know how to measure our brightness of the light and the uh, temperature of the light. Now we're going to point number four, how to manage it. How to manage the light in your studio. Very simple. I would recommend a soft box. If you go to any photography store and just type soft box and I'll put a link in the description. Inexpensive, big, soft box. Just use the soft box. If you're using just one bulb or one stand um, in your studio, let's say you're painting your studio, it's very small and you can afford only uh, just space-wise, you can afford only one stand somewhere behind you, uh, or from this, you know, from one side. Uh, use that soft box, the biggest soft box you can get, so it's comfortable uh, in your corner of the studio or in the studio, whatever you're painting. If you can afford two, that's great. If one coming from one side, one coming from another side. If you can afford ceiling um, bulbs. Uh, that's another option. You can actually buy long soft box or you can buy uh, like a rail uh, rail that you can uh, connect to your uh, hang from the ceiling or connect to your ceiling and use at least six bulbs and those six bulbs will be too warm, too cold and then warm and cold. Or you can use eight and then two warm, two cold, two warm and two cold bulbs. So make sure when you're putting the bulbs in your uh, in, in a ceiling as a cold warm, cold warm, cold warm, cold warm, an even distribution. Uh, and then make sure, make sure the, all the bulbs are adjustable so you can dim it, all right? So you can, you can adjust the uh, brightness. Now, if you're using bulbs, you will be able to adjust the brightness, but unfortunately, you won't be able to adjust the temperature. So when you're selecting the bulbs, make sure you're selecting somewhere so the average of two, one cold bulb and one warm bulb will give you around uh, 32 uh, kelvins, 3200 in kelvins, okay? And this is, I know, this is the average of from any museums, galleries or collectors, okay? So uh, this is how to control your light. If you can afford something a little bit more expensive and we we're talking about $150. You can actually get two stands LED panels with two knobs or one knob that will control a brightness and the temperature. So for example, I have I have actually bulbs and my I'm averaging about 3200. I just managed to buy those bulbs. But also I have for videos and sometimes I'm setting if I work on a bigger piece, I actually have two panels, two LED panels on the, on both sides and they are adjustable. So I will turn the light in my bulbs light coming from the ceiling and actually will turn the uh, my two panels and I will adjust metering using my iPhone metering and setting to 3200 and I will leave it and I know I will come back and I will paint all I have to do just turn the light lights on and I'm getting 3200 so and this is how to manage the uh, brightness and most importantly the temperature of the light in your studio is it important very important because you want to get to the same standards as uh, any galleries and museum or uh, collectors all right so if it's important, for me it's very important, um, you know, looking in the future uh, where my painting will, will end up. If it's not important for you, you know, paint as you want. But this is my recommendation and this will be all for today. So if you have any, any questions, please leave the comments below and I will get to you as soon as possible. So if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, hit the like if you like it. And stay tuned because uh, there's a lot of videos I'm working on, uh, reviewing the uh, easels, uh, brushes, panels, a lot of, uh, I have a huge list I'm working on right now and I'm very excited about this. I'm not sure why. And if you already subscribed, thank you very much for supporting my channel and watching my videos and giving company to me, all right? So it's, it's kind of important for me um, and that's the reason I started this channel, just to share information and to be honest, uh, I'm just learning myself as well when I'm working on, on the videos and I'm doing some reviews and paintings and it just, it just a lot of fun so thank you very much for both for new ones and for those who subscribes and i will see you next time oh and i forgot about bonus <laughs>
I shared this video. I had so much fun and I forgot about the most important thing. I was I was about to show you the uh, temperature switch or uh, the temperature change from cold to warm and I wanted to look at the uh, uh, canvas with you know three primary colors and see how the colors actually shifting by changing the temperature of the light. So let me see. So this right now is my 30 it's not 32 because I have this key light uh, for a uh, video so my uh, temperature is actually uh, more cooler you know, going to 3300 it's only 100 Kelvin it's not a big difference but still not my 3200 uh, and so this is normal settings and this is what I would recommend in your studio now let me switch to cold and I won't be able to get it like crazy cold like 10,000 but I think I will manage around 4,000 4, kelvins, which will be very cold, you will see it. So let me switch. So this is the coldest light I can get from all my sources my, in my studio by turning them to very, very cold. So let's measure, and this is measuring uh, 5,600. So 5,600 kelvins. so it's, it's kind of on the cold side, going to the cold side. And you can see actually the shift of the yellow, the shift of the red, and blue is not shifting because we are already in the blue kind of blue, blue colors, all right? Now let me switch to warm color. And now this is the warmest color I can get from my, uh, from my lights in my studio. And let's measure it. And it's measuring at 2200 kelvins, which is very, very warm. And you can see actually uh, the shift of uh, the blue the shift of uh, kind of you know red yellow is not for some reason shifting but there is definitely a shift of the colors uh, and also look at the white i will put at the end of the video i'll put three uh three images regular 32 not regular 3200 and uh, 2500 and i think we measured 50 5200 uh, and we will see the differences on the white canvas and also in, in the colors. Let me switch back to 3200. So now we are at 32. Actually, I just adjusted to 30, 3150. So it's around 3200 Kelvin. So this is my uh, normal light that I'm painting in my studio. And I will show you three images of um, my my set up at 3200 kelvins and then coldest i think we got at 5200 and the warmest at 2200 and and you will judge and you will see the shift of the colors on canvas white canvas and actually on the colors and you make a decision if you want to manage light in your studio or not so thank you for watching and i will see you next time Here we go.